This is the Tomac 770 PCNC. This is uh, the Series 3 model. And this, um, I bought this in February of 2015. And it's still in excellent working condition. It hasn't been used uh, for anything else except uh, wood and plastic. So um, I thought I was going to be using, I thought I was going to be working with metal, but uh, things turned out differently. And I needed something with a larger bed and something for wood. This is an excellent machine for metal. You could actually make wooden parts with this as well. If you want to make um, smaller type of wooden things. But this is overkill for wood. This is an excellent milling metal machine. Metal milling machine. And so I had a problem where whenever I opened the spindle door, uh, this 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 is a uh, this is a switch that uh, controls the uh, controls the spindle. So whenever you open the door, this switch closes, and it sends a signal to this switch. And this uh, button pops out. It's some kind of safety feature. So I had a problem when, whenever I opened the spindle door and tried to run something in Mach 3, I was having a problem where the spindle wouldn't start unless I pressed F5 on, on the keyboard. Then it would start. I could press F5 could click spindle and then press F5 on the keyboard and then it would start and operate as normal but uh, it turned out it was a software problem uh, with Mach 3 and Tormac has recently um, gone to using pilot um, what do they call it um, I forgot the um, I forgot the name but something pilot but I always stayed with Mach uh, 3 because I, I knew how to use it and it was easy and I was making simple parts. So I reinstalled uh, Mach 3 on the Tormac. This is original Tormac uh, computer controller that came with the, uh, the machine. So I reinstalled the Mach 3 and booted everything up and now everything is running as it should. So when I open up the spindle, like when you're going to change a tool, and then you close the spindle door, and I'll show you what's supposed to happen. When you go to your software, when you go to Mach 3, this button uh, goes in. It moves in, and then it, you can send the signal to the spindle. So let's show that right now. So now I'm at Mach 3, and we just opened and closed the spindle door. Now I'm in Mach 3, and I'm going to click the spindle. Button goes in, spindle turns on. Button in. Let's do that again. We open the door and that button pops out. We open the spindle door. Then we close the spindle door. That button is still out until I come over to Mach 3 and I press the spindle. It'll pop back in.
Okay, so I solved that problem. And it, this is a great machine. It's in excellent condition. And uh, it functions and operates perfectly. It's very clean. I kept it clean. This is the, uh, this is the steel base and cabinet. And you got a lot of storage in here. There's a lot of storage in there. And you also have storage in the back. Let me see if I can show you that. There's uh, another area where you could store stuff. And it, has a, it also has a locked door. But this is where I run my wires. And we'll walk around the whole machine. This is the uh, side. I'm going to show the, uh, the oil pump. Right there is the oil pump. I chose the manual oil pump. And the only problem, I had the, uh, I had the water coolant. I have the hoses and everything connected for the water coolant pump. But this pump is, it's gone. Uh, what happened was, it sat in the, in the coolant uh, for a couple of years. And uh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have changed the coolant out when I wasn't using it. So it corroded the pump. But the, the uh, tank is in perfect condition. And you could probably get a, a new pump from Tormac or some other place. Let's see if, uh, let me see what the name of it is. Uh, it just says single phase electrical pump. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the pump and the cooling tank. This is the Tormac controller computer with the Tormac keyboard mouse and uh, the monitor and here we go around the back end so this uh, this machine has the uh, I bought it with the side splash guards so this is one splash guard they come off so they, they screw onto uh, the sides right here and they come off. This is the back of the uh, machine. And this is the splash guard that's uh, screwed on. All right. And we have the uh, front, the front splash guard with the removable plexi plexiglass uh, door. So that screws this screws right onto the front and uh, it actually screws onto the bed right here so this all that all came with Tomac with the uh, with the machine so now I'm going to run a program a g-code program but I'm gonna run it I'm gonna run it in the air. I'm not actually gonna cut anything. If anybody wants, if anyone sees this video and you wanna see me cut something, I could do that too. But let's see, I have a, I have some code here. Let me reset the program. Okay. And then let me run the program and then you'll see it running. Uh, you'll see the, the bed moving X and Y positions and up and down the Z position. Hold on a second. That was my mistake. So now I have the, uh, everything's running. X and Y are moving. The spindle's moving.
can see I have the spindle moving at a very slow speed. It is super slow speed. It's 175. But this is just for demo purposes. Now I'll show um, how the spindle operates in manual mode. All right, let's let's turn this off. Okay. And now let's do manual mode. Go to the. Uh, okay, I'm going to click manual. I'm going to click start. There it goes. I'm going to increase the RPMs. going to stop it okay so that's the uh, the video of the Tomahawk